Hello and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to ask a question. Why is it that whenever I'm confirmed to be right, it's because the Scorn developers fucked up? So if you don't want any spoilers, as this is probably a spoiler, you should probably skip this video and maybe every other video if it keeps coming up. Some of you probably remember my previous video, the one on the 3rd Pulse Monthly Update, or the 25th update in general. In it, I talked about this picture, and how the machine on the left is the one that gives you the wrist key, and this is likely early on in the game. The player goes to the machine on the right, sees he can't interact with it, goes to the machine on the left, sees his character has physically changed, go to the machine on the right, sees he can interact with it, and you've just been introduced to working with the standardized console devices. Though my theory there does make sense from a game design perspective, after all, why else would they put these two machines in the exact same room if not to introduce the player to a game mechanic that comes up often? There wasn't anything to, like, truly confirm it. After all, we weren't even 100% sure that was the machine that gives you the wrist key. It even looks a little bit different from the machine you use to get the wrist key in the demo, with only the snake-like segment being uh, the familiar part. So perhaps it's something else he shoves his hand into in order to get an upgrade. Earlier today, Megna posted this picture on the Scorn social media accounts with the caption, Pain is part of the human experience and then hours later took it down. Some people think his statement is confirmation that scorn people are actually human beings, but I think it's more of a generic blurb about pain. Because my god, that looks fucking awful, doesn't it? And so, by turning the lights on a little bit, and doing a bit of cross-analysis, you can see that the machine in front of scorn guy's hand is indeed the same machine that's shown in the previous or the current update. You can also see scarring on his hand and the trickling of blood, which is why I thought that the picture with all the meat pillars from the same update was also early on in the game. But I know what some of you are going to be saying. Hold on, what about this shot from the 2016 trailer? You can see his left hand doesn't have anything attached to it. In fact, he doesn't even seem to have skin on most of it. Doesn't that mean this takes place earlier on in the game? Well, the update itself actually provides the answer because the environment artist was asked why they initially built the levels chronologically. And of course his answer was a lack of resources, but the point is, what you see in the 2016 and likely 2017 area are stuff that's not only early on in the game in general, but early on in part one. Now, in the clip, you see him switch from the standard pistol to another machine, and then point it at the withering abomination. It appears in the demo files as well. It's called the Grenade Launcher. We've seen it in action in the most recent gameplay trailer, where it's also gotten quite a bit of an upgrade. And we know this is an area that was in part one of the game. This is because we've seen the very same pillar structure that's holding up those pods, as well as a little bit of the pods themselves and the central structure in the 2016 trailer and the 2020 gameplay trailer. 
But if Scorn Guy has a grenade launcher in that scene, it must mean he's already picked it up and therefore have already been through that area with all the bears and already have gotten the wrist key. So perhaps, assuming there's no like, you know, super radical change between uh, how the assets look, which you can argue based on the fact that uh, the grenade launcher looks so different, it could be that that scene in the 2016 trailer takes place later on in the game. I thus remain convinced that this is early on in the game because every other piece of Scorn media that we've seen involving Scorn Guy in-game and not just concept art shows him with this wrist key. And given that it's incredibly bloody here and not bloody anywhere else, should indicate that this is when he first gets it. So then, why was the post deleted? After all, all this does is confirm that this is early on in the game. Well, I don't think it's because it confirms that. No one really gives them enough of a shit to figure this out other than myself, at least to my knowledge. I think the reason is quite simple. This is supposed to be a shocking moment in the game. You get this device in order to unlock this machine, but unlike all these other games where it's grabbing a key card or a special machine or something else, it's something painfully embedded into Scorn Guy's hand. A shocking moment to give you an idea of just how brutal and cruel the world of Scorn is. These are people who went out of their way to change some of the lighting effects from the 2017 gameplay trailer and the uh, demo from the same year to avoid spoilers. These are people who have mastered showing nothing new every update in order to avoid spoilers. They don't even have a name for the player character and were unwilling to tell us what part 2 was going to be called just in case it might have been a spoiler. So I think what happened is Megna posted something that was supposed to be a big shock and reveal to the player, and it's hard to have a big shock and reveal if you've already seen it in a screenshot. And of course, this is based on the average person, the guy who might follow them on social media, but aren't obsessed with figuring out every little detail about the game. So if that guy can be spoiled, you know it's a spoiler. So I'm going to call this theory confirmed unless there's some grand evidence that disconfirms it, using the old deductive reasoning so to say. And perhaps later on we see more of Scorn Guy's body and we see him without skin on his arms like we do in the 2016 trailer. And maybe that'll provide some more insight into the when this stuff takes place in the game itself. Until that day comes, or they fuck up again, I hope you enjoyed the video that I gave you something to think about and otherwise entertained you. Take care.